So now here, when you go to custom auto reply, you will see two, two tabs, custom auto replies, interactive list message. All right, so first you have to set up custom auto replies. Now, if you see over here, these are custom auto replies configured basis a specific input, right? So let's just quickly create, I'll just show you how to create a custom reply. So I click on add new custom reply. And here I will add the input as tell me about your brand. All right. So this is the input. So if customer sends this message, a custom reply will be triggered. We can also add variations for this, right? I want to know more. All right. Or share product details. Share list of products. So these are the variations, right? Um, so these these work. So this input it works on the basis of exact match. Okay, so it has to be exactly the way this is configured, right? So hence you should always use very, very commonly used uh, inputs over here. Then in the custom auto reply, you get two, two options, custom message, product collection list. So I will configure a custom message, right? Hi, you can also add a variable to personalize the message you can go to our website to check about our products and services here let's map it with customer name and then similarly, you can add buttons over here. Pricing, warranty, returns. And then save. So our input is tell me about your brand. We have added a custom reply, which will be triggered. Now, if you want to include this option in the interactive list message, then you go to interactive list message. Over here, we have already created a list, right? If you see, there are options over the, here. So you can add up to 10 uh, options, 10 items in this. So let's say if we can, if we have a space to add more. So we have created this, tell me about your brand option. So I'll just use that. Now choose input. So this is from the input which which is configured in the custom reply. Then list item text. This is the text which will be shown in the list, right? So generally keep it same to avoid any confusion. But you can make uh, changes. So this item text can be different from this input. Uh, so uh, so now if you see, if I clicked on save, so. Tell me about your brand has been included in the list message now, right? So let's just send one more list on my number and we'll see. So I am, I go to the inbox. I open my chat in the reply section. I see these icons. So I click on list message icon. There I get two options, product collections list or interactive list. So again, I will just simply click on see preview and send and then send. Now, when I go to WhatsApp, I click on menu. I received the custom reply, pricing warranty returns. If I click on pricing, nothing will be triggered. Yeah, there is already we have 
uh, added one reply. If I click on warranty, nothing will be triggered because we haven't set up any custom reply where the input is warranty, right? So I go back to interact, go to, I go to settings, automation, custom auto reply, add new custom reply, warranty, be of one year warranty, you can purchase one year extended warranty. At rupees triple nine nine and see. Now let's go to now. I type warranty. I received the custom reply with the text. So I'll again quickly uh, give one more example. I will show how to create custom reply and interactive list message before we move to the question and answer session, right? So again, to quickly summarize uh, how you can automate the chats. Firstly, set up automated responses for these three scenarios. That is your out of office message, welcome message and delayed response message. Right? This is very easy to set up, very easy to configure. Custom auto reply. So you go to the custom auto reply. There are two options over here, custom auto replies and interactive list message. Before setting up your interactive list message, you need to set up custom auto replies. Right? Here in the input, you should add a very commonly used text, which usually customer sends. Right? Uh, so either customer can type this text or they can select this particular input in the interactive list message, right? So before you, uh, you know, uh, try out this feature, uh, I would suggest you make a list of your FAQs, right? 10 FAQs. First, make a list of those 10 FAQs, then go to custom replies and create those custom replies one by one, right? With, with those 10 FAQs. Once these custom replies are created, then go to the interactive list message and include those reply replies over here, right? You can also change the interactive list name. You can call it menu. You can call it FAQ. You can call it uh, uh, list, right? So it's up to you, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I will, let's add one more uh, custom reply. Let's say feedback. All right, here in the custom reply, so I will write something like this. Thank you for shopping with us. Please share your, please let us know how was your experience. Excellent. Average would be better or not. All right. So I click on save. Then again, I'll add one more custom reply because we have added three options, three buttons in the custom reply. Excellent. So for the input, excellent. I have added this custom reply. We are glad that you like our products. Save. Average, please let us know 
how can we improve? Not okay. Sorry to hear. We will get in touch with you to understand your concern in detail. And save. Right? Let's go to WhatsApp. I type feedback. As soon as I type feedback, I will receive a message which we have configured. Thank you for shopping with us. Please let us know how was your experience. If I click on excellent, I will receive a message which we have already configured. So this is how you can create custom replies and interactive list message. So quickly, I will show you few things which you need to just keep in mind. So when you create a custom reply, your input should be of maximum 24 characters. Your message body can be of 1024 characters. The buttons which you add, it can be of 20 characters max, right? So this is, this is one thing you need to keep in mind. In the interactive list message, you can add up to 10 options at one point of time, right? If, so if you have more than 10 options, so you should delete some of the options and keep the relevant options, which you want to show to the customers when they send you a message for the first time or out of office message, right? Uh, this can be also clubbed with uh, campaigns, right? When you launch a notification campaign. So I'll just show you. So, so you go to notifications, you click on new campaign, start from scratch. Over here, you will choose your filter. Here you will select a particular template. Right, so I've selected summer sale new. If you see in my template, I've added three buttons. View catalog, view FAQs, stop. So I select choose template. Here I will map the variable. Now in this third step, you get these four options. If you want customers to be able to opt out from your list, you can set up this option. So when they when they click on stop button they will be opted out automatically, right? So how you configure this over here on button click. So as I have added three buttons in the template, I will select stop over here. Send your products. So click on setup. Again, on button click, I've added view catalog. So I can either send all collections or one particular collection over here. Then send interactive list message. So if I select view FAQs, then the interactive list message, which we have configured, it will be triggered to the customer. And then custom reply. So suppose if you want to select, write any custom message, right? Which is not configured in the custom reply or anything, right? So you can just, uh, use this option. So here again, in the trigger type, you can use button click or on typed out reply. Suppose in the typed out reply, it, it is something like show more, whatever, or no more. So here you can just simply configure the message. So you don't need to set it up in the custom replies. You can set it up over here instantly. You go to the third step, you go to the fifth step, and then click on send and set live, right? And that's how you launch the campaign. So this is how you set up 
custom replies interactive list message. Uh, 